Hey everybody, it's Jordan for PDQ.com. Uh, today we want to go over IP config equivalent in PowerShell. Uh, if you've been doing IT for any amount of time, chances are you've been in there to find the IP address you just do in the command line IP config. It gives you a lot of useful data. In fact, in PowerShell you can typically just put IP config right in there and it's going to give you the same data you got from the command prompt. Uh, the issue you're going to run into is it's going to just give you a wall of text, but it's not an object. So you can't interact with it the way you could with most returning objects in PowerShell. You're going to have to use regex or something to go through and grab the specifics you want, similar to if you ran the command line and wanted to grab only a certain IP address. So what PowerShell does have is a similar command of git, let me just type this out the long way, IP configuration. Just run that one real quick so we can see it. Apparently it's going to take long because the first time I ran it, but it comes down here and it has all the same information that you can see right here. The, the main difference that it has is this is now as an object where if I want to come in here and specify just the IP address, I can absolutely do that. Uh, whether we put it into an object or if we just, we can pipe it directly to select. Select uh, IPv4 address. Run that one and you can see here, it's just grabbing the IPv4 address. It's, only the day that you want, and it's easier to then interact with and get, get what you're looking for. Uh, another thing you might have to do is like, if you're looking for another machine, you don't want to walk all the way over there, wear out your sneakers, you get tired. If you're like me, you're out of shape. It's just, it's ugly. You can't come in here, you could just specify a computer. Maybe, maybe, there we go, computer name. Tab saves me again. We'll try Bugs Bunny, and I actually don't know if we're allowing remote like that, but let's give it a shot. Give that a run, it's gonna go out there and it's gonna to attempt to run it against a remote machine. Uh, if there's some policy blocking it or permissions issue, you might block here. But otherwise, this is be able to go to machines. You can specify several machines, just create an array and do four each. And it'll go to each machine and it will grab the information you're looking for. Run a little bit longer than we want. So I'm thinking we may be blocked on this one. So maybe I should have checked that before the, win the video, but here we are. Uh, <clears throat> that's basically what we have there for this one. It gives you all the same information I can IP config, which if it didn't have useful information, it wouldn't be as popular, popular as it is, but it makes it so you can interact with it in ways you couldn't before. And you can grab only the information you're looking for and just cut out all the excess information. And there's my airbag saying that I'm not allowed to run remote operations on that machine. And that's why we test. <clears throat> uh, had I been uh, set this up properly, this would have worked great and we'd be moving on. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, net I, or get net IP configuration is going to do everything but more and it's going to make it so you can put in automation that you couldn't even really fathom before. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.